Hey guys, this is Fidas. Welcome to another training for today. Today I'm going to teach you how to master uh, the first canon by Robert Schumann, Opus Op 56, number one. It's from the cycle Studien für den Pedalflügel, uh, Pedal Piano, uh, Opus 56. Uh, wonderful six canons, and the first is uh, two pages long and it's written in the key of C major. It has three three voices, like a trio texture a little bit, although the bass line is not as complex as the two canonic voices. I'll be using um, uh, Walker Eule, Annaberg Buchholz organ from uh, 1884 sample set, made by Organ Art Media. Beautiful, beautiful romantic uh, Walker sample set. Um, and um, I will teach you to play this piece in just nine easy steps, okay? So the first step is actually to start and play and then uh, stop at each quarter note because the meter is 4-4 four, four in this case, okay? Let's do it, let's demonstrate how it sounds. Okay, that was step one, starting and stopping at the quarter note level. Once you can do this step three times in a row without mistakes, from the beginning until the no last note, until the last uh, measure, then you can go on to the second step, it, and it's actually twice as fast, uh, twice as long, starting and stopping twice per measure, every uh, two quarter notes, every half note. Let's demonstrate it. Okay, step three would be to start and stop at the beginning of every measure. Let's try it out.
Okay. Step number four would be to start and stop twice per line after two measures or so. Let's try it out. Okay, let's uh, recap. The step one was start and stop uh, at the beginning of every beat. Step number two, uh, twice per measure. Uh, step number three, once per measure. And then step number four, after two measures. Right? Excellent. Now step number five would be to start and stop at the beginning of every line. But remember to do all the previous steps until you can actually play it fluently without mistakes at least three times in a row. Let's do step number five. Okay, this was step number five, stopping every line. Now let's double the fragment and let's stop after two lines. At the beginning of the line, uh, basically three, yes. And then at the beginning of line five, because there are not four, but five lines per, uh, per um, page. Let's try it out. Thank you. This was step number six, right? After uh, two lines, I had to stop. Let's see. Uh, step one was after each beat. Step two, twice per measure. Step three, once per measure. Step four was twice per line. Uh, step five was once per line. And step six was 
after two lines. Wonderful. After I can do it three times in a row without mistakes, I can do step seven and stop after four lines or twice per page. I could stop after three lines or after the three lines or the four lines in the middle of the page somewhere basically twice per page would be step number seven let's do this Okay, remember that you can play this piece on one manual because it was written for the pedal piano originally. Then a little bit of voice crossings could be, uh, but not too much. All right, so it depends on your situation. Uh, you could actually play the left hand part a little, uh, uh, maybe louder. the second manual okay what what we have here maybe this way maybe this way Let's try it out. Step number eight would be uh, penultimate step would be to start and uh, stop once per page, basically twice per piece. I will show you maybe my maybe pedals. Okay, let's do this.
I don't particularly enjoy is the sound that we have here actually. Uh, maybe if we adjust it a little bit instead of playing with the uh, with the combination which is piano I could actually create a little a more elegant registration in the pedals 16 and 8 that's fine all the 16s stopping except principal bass maybe Okay, and on the left hand side I could add 8 foot stops Gemshorn, Burdon, Holflote, Doppelflote, Quintadena, Viola Gamba, Dolce, Gemshorn, and Trollflote. And on the second manual, I could add I could add I could add Gedact principal Salicinal Spitzflotte Auto Dolce top also and Viola four. And maybe even Obo. I like it. Um, a little bit of spice in the left hand part would be nice. That's how you create balanced registration, but also a colorful one. Not necessarily to use piano, mezzo forte, forte combinations set in in um, in advance by the uh, by the organ builder. Excellent. So step nine would be to play entire piece without stopping. Let me now show you the keyboards, perhaps. Okay, let's do this.
I think I made one or two mistakes in the middle of the piece and I think I have to go back and correct it until I can play the entire thing fluently three times in a row without mistakes. So let me demonstrate one last time how it sounds. I like this registration. What about you? If you do, please let me know in the comments. One last time, step number nine. I like how it ends. Uh, the last uh, measure has the tenor C in the pedals, but the lowest note in the left hand is G. So it uh, actually with the pedals, if you play it with 16 notes, 16 feet stop, it's still lower than the left hand, but uh, the low note of the left hand it's very, very deep and, and nicely coincides, creates probably beautiful 16 note effect on the pedal piano because probably what we have here not in every pedal piano they had 16 uh, feet strings right so but if you play g lower than c you create an effect of acoustic uh, 16 note together playing right uh, wonderful. So that was the last step. Remember to practice it three times in a row without mistakes. And every step actually, it's it's helpful to do this. And it's a beautiful, beautiful introduction to the entire cycle of six studium, six etudes basically, canonic etudes. And each of them is more beautiful than the 
the previous one probably the second one will be beautiful also i hope to record it also and uh, and the piece and tutorial so uh, stay tuned in in uh, for my other tutorials and videos subscribe comment like and of course uh, check out the description of this video later i will add the fingering and pedaling to this score as well so you could actually save tons of times uh, in order to master this piece you will have fingering and pedaling written out for you ahead of time to create um, basically perfect legato touch for the romantic organ playing wonderful i hope you enjoyed it and let's keep in touch and let's meet again very soon bye bye